Hello, people of the internet. My name is Combat Wombat, and I'm back. Well, I never left, but I'm back to making fun of content on YouTube. With that in mind, we're just having fun here, of course. I have nothing against these channels I'm about to talk about, alright? Don't sue me. This is all for memes and good times. Also, I'm aware that some of you may enjoy a few of these channels. This is all my opinion. Anyways, you know those channels that you watch and you think to yourself, why does this exist? And then you wonder why it has so many views and subscribers? Well, we're looking at a few of those channels today. The weird ones. The first channel is The Crusher. It might sound like a really kinky wrestler name, but it's really just a quirky YouTube channel. A YouTube channel that crushes things. That's... That's about it. Really lives up to the name, I'll give them that. They have almost 2 million subscribers, and their most popular video has 74 million views, where they crush a Samsung Galaxy S8. I can see why it has so many dislikes. This is one of those channels where they destroy perfectly functioning, super expensive things just for the hell of it, which is kind of AIDS. Anyways, let's take a look at one of their videos. Top 10 most expensive items in shredding machine. Sounds hot. Ah uh, yes, top 10 most expensive items. We got several overpriced phones, a flat screen, and a lobster. You guys know how overpriced lobsters are these days. Oof, we went really above and beyond with this one. Thank us later. Oh, of course, show us that this expensive iPad is working very well before you crush it for no good reason. Wow. I'm more triggered than an inebriated ant with Stockholm Syndrome. That was a waste of a perfectly good vibrator. A lot of people claim these videos are satisfying. Even the video creator himself says so in the description. Which is honestly just the weirdest thing to me. What do you mean, satisfying? Getting a back massage from Jack Black is satisfying. Watching this ass cheek try to crush a small HDTV is not satisfying. Look at this, he's struggling with it. Honestly, this just occurred to me, this actually looks dangerous. Like, couldn't this stuff explode or at least catch on fire? Maybe fling some plastic or something at you? Y yep, it, it most certainly can catch on fire. Awesome. Here this goofy goober is, putting a glass jar into this machine, and as you might suspect, the glass shatters and starts flinging all over the place. Someone get Clifford the Big Red Dog over here because that's one messy plate of bullshit. I, I don't know why I got angry there. I'm just passionate. This mother humper just shoved a whole ass Xbox 360 into his dumb crusher machine. Consider me shooketh. The audacity of this bitch to destroy such a peaceful and cultured object. Why doesn't he just put a gaming PC in there? Because if PCs are so great, then why hasn't there been a PC too? Yeah, get wrecked, libtard. Facts don't care about your feelings. So, some of the Crusher's videos are honestly a little disturbing. Like, he shoves dead fish creatures into these Crusher machines and... I don't know about you, but that wasn't satisfying or entertaining to watch. It was just gross. Poor Nemo. It would appear that this channel really hates octopussies and crabs because he is constantly either crushing them or churning them up, and it's honestly just disturbing every time. Maybe I'm a giant wimp, but I find it gross, man. Oh, this one looks spicy. Fast Shredder versus Hand and toys. How much do you want to bet that this guy didn't shove his hand into a shredder machine and it's just clickbait? Looks like it worked. He got 1.6 million views when most of his videos get an average of about 50,000. So we got some sick people out here who want to see a guy shove his hand into a crusher machine. Neat. Ooh, that soccer ball got straight sucked up and eaten. 
Oof. Yeah, you shoved that plastic shield and sword in there. Yeah. So satisfying. Ah, uh, yep. Why not? Shove the Pringles in there too. The snack that smiles back my ass. This brings me to the usual format this guy goes with. Usually he has some really crazy object he plans on putting in the machine. A fish, a gun, which is probably plastic, a phone, or his hand. Of course, if he just crushed that one thing in the title, it wouldn't be long enough to put ads in. And you know, a homie gotta eat. So he crushes some other things until he gets around 10 minutes. Then he finally crushes the thing that is in the title. The main event, if you will. Ah, we're about eight minutes in, so... Oh god, is it time? No, don't do it! How will you smack your turkey to smurf hentai if you... Wait. Oh, he baited me. You motherfu- I came here to watch you cripple yourself, you clickbaiting scum! So that's basically all there is to this channel. Really, you've practically seen all it has to offer. He just crushes things in a machine. In my opinion, this stuff is extremely pointless and isn't very entertaining. It's certainly not satisfying. I can see why some people might like it, just watching random things get crushed. But it does make me think, why does this exist? The next channel we'll look at that makes you scratch your head and think, why, is Atrix Gaming. He's an epic Fortnite gamer channel with around 42,000 subscribers. You might be thinking, what's weird about a Fortnite channel? Well, this isn't your normal Fortnite channel where some little Timmy is recording himself getting epic victory royales. No, 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 not even close. No, your eyes do not deceive you. And yes, this is all this channel uploads. It is just a female Fortnite character dancing and emoting while the camera shows that badonkadonk. Let's take a look at some of these masterpieces. High heels plus short dress equal hot demi skin heart. You can watch under every dress slash skirt now. Sexy Astro Ass Assin is finally here. Jesus H Christ on a pogo stick. Why? Just. Why? This is all this channel is. And you better believe that most of these videos are over 10 minutes long. Somehow. 10 minutes of Fortnite girls emoting. I just, why? Fortnite girls aren't even attractive. They look like aborted aliens. Why would you base an entire channel around uploading Fortnite girls doing emotes? How horny are you? And this guy's been doing this since 2018. That blows my mind. I haven't seen a single ad on this guy's channel. I highly doubt he's monetized. That means he's just doing this for fun, as a hobby. What's even more sad is that he has got to 40,000 subscribers off of this. And some of his videos have gotten up to a million views. Fortnite should have just ended when that black hole sucked it up. It should have just committed endgame and stayed endgamed. Just go away, Fort Farts. No one wants you. You breed AIDS. The last channel I'm going to talk about is one someone in my Discord recommended to me. Three Lame Studio, a channel with 360,000 subscribers, ooh, that's impressive, who makes animations of sorts. His about section reads thusly. I create bizarre videos about Angry Birds, Minecraft, Super Mario, and so on and so forth. Subscribe if you want to enjoy the future. Well, I do want to enjoy the future, so I'll drop a hot sub. Let's take a look at that sweet content, my boys. Uh, oh boy. I'd rather be kicked in my left ear by a druggy demon dragon than click on any one of these videos, but I'm going to do it anyway. For science, how about Gold Rake Murator? No idea what that is. Right, so I'm going to go swan dive into a crusher machine from over on the crusher channel. BRB fam. So we got a dog humping at what is that? A transformer? A transformer's leg while two other dogs are humping other objects. The transformer is whipping the ground with some sort of dookie patch? Why? What is this, an anime? Because if it is, it's just as good at confusing me as to what is going on. Literally nothing in these videos makes 
any sense. It's quite possible that I'm missing out on a lot of the lore and story, and perhaps this is like season 10 out of a long-running series. Maybe I'm just dumb, and I'm just starting on the wrong episode. Also, I'm fully aware that these videos are all in a different language, and I have no idea what is being said. But even if I could understand, these visuals alone are tripping on some serious acid. There are English subtitles on this particular video, even though most of his videos don't have English subtitles. Let's try to figure out what's going on by reading what they're saying. He fished a octopus. Okay, so that dookie patch is an octopus. Got it. He's obsessed about food. Don't invite him to dinner. Listen to me. Oh man, this is a gripping scene. They, alien monsters, destroyed Altamura. Damn it, Altamura is gone. Rendizer, you idiot. Hurry up, hurry up, go to Altamura. So, so the robot is called Grendizer. Okay. Might I add that this animation is top-notch. I mean, this character's hands turned into fish fins on this frame. So, he's a fish, confirmed. So, I'll try to do a quick synopsis of the epic plot in this episode if I can. Robot gets humped. Fishman says, Hey, what are you doing? Go save planet that is being destroyed by alien monsters. Guy piloting the robot says, All right, sure. He flies off. Now a deer is humping the robot because why not? The robot runs out of fuel. They bicker for a bit. The robot goes to drill for oil. I'm pretty sure I just turned into a lesbian watching that. I'm done. That is all the wackiness I can handle for one lifetime. There are a ton of animations like this on the channel, and each one is weirder than the last. Trying to decipher what any of it means is like trying to walk through a maze blindfolded with a blind moose leading the way. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's going to be all for this video. Those were three channels that honestly make me wonder, why does this even exist? If you want, you can go check these channels out for yourself. There's links in the description. I'm going to go down a bottle of cow lactate to try to forget what I've just seen. Goodbye. As always, a huge thank you to all of my amazing channel members and Patreon sponsors who keep this channel going. It means a lot. If you also want to keep the channel going and also gain a bunch of cool perks and benefits including a badge next to your name when you comment, check out the blue join button below or check out my Patreon. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one.